So I run a YouTube channel called Jerry Rig Everything. Most people assume that my name is Jerry, but it's not. It's Zach. Jerry, my grandpa, built this cabin right here. And this cabin right here has a 20-year-old mouse problem. Not that the mouse is 20 years old, but the mice have been there for 20 years. Jerry was really good at jerry-rigging things, and he didn't always use the most kosher construction practices. So this cabin has a lot of reclaimed wood in it, and the mouse problem could be relatively small, but it's probably going to be pretty big. The mice have been in there for a very long time, and they are very comfortable. But this week we've set it aside, and we are going to vanquish this mouse problem. So if you're uh, squeamish about dead animals, or dirty places, this probably won't be the video that you want to watch. I hope we're successful, because this cabin's pretty awesome. <laughs> I said we out here grinding, we working. I said we out here grinding, we working. I said we're in the bathroom right now. We just removed the toilet. We have some holes here in the corner where the mice have been getting in. And then right here you can see like a bunch of dirt and grass and stuff where they've been coming through the drywall. Took out the toilet, stuck it in the shower. And then on this side we have some more holes in the wall where the mice have been getting in. So we're gonna have to rip out this wall and see what the damage is inside of there as well. Let's get started. Wearing our proper safety gear, we're gonna lift out the carpet all around this bottom area. So as I'm lifting up the carpet, we got the dead remains of a mouse right here, which has died between the cement and the foam padding. Probably came out of that hole or something. We got mouse fur and mouse guts all up inside of this cabinet. And we got mouse poop everywhere else. All right, we're taking out the wall behind the toilet and this is what we found. So right here, this cute little guy lived its last moments. If we follow along here to this pipe, we have a whole nest. So we're coming up where the pipe comes into the, into the house, because it doesn't look like there's anything behind this. Just right here. Now we know, cut this piece out by the shower here. So there should be insulation all the way through here. They've just kind of carried it out. There's no insulation. There's supposed to be insulation, right? Yeah, see they've eaten it. Yeah. They've eaten it all they're coming in back there. Bucket, yeah. Is this the outside wall? Yeah. Because we've got plants growing up in here. So what we're thinking right now, so this is the shower, we're thinking they're coming up through the drain right here and then going into this part of the wall and eating away the insulation. But we also went up here to the top side of the shower and right here you can see there's mouse crap everywhere and we can see that they're going up into the ceiling a little bit. Probably through that little hole right there. Because the drywall would have been pretty tight up against those those boards. But that hole's the perfect size for a mouse, I think. We'll find out after we get the shower out of here. Alright, the top part's good. So we got the shower out and we found out where all the mice are getting in. They're right down here. The foundation is just pretty much gone. So they're either coming up from the drain or most likely they're coming in from the outside over there. And they're making their little homes in here. Looks like they've eaten out all of the insulation over here on this side all the way up. 
They've eaten the insulation here, and they're going up into the ceiling. See all those little black dots? Those are not supposed to be there. I said we out here ground and we working. I said we out here ground and we working. Me how to do it and I do Feeling my ambition like I'm filling up a pool Ain't my choice but it's up to me to choose Hammer out my goals like I'm working with my tools On the same page like the head So this is a mouse hotel Mouse go in Because there's bait inside So they go in through this hole And then get stuck inside of the hotel We've had a little mouse problem over the last couple years we can see the problem is that there's an actual literal gap in the framing where you can see outside. And that's where all the mice are getting in. So we'll probably need uh, steel wool for that. Uh -huh. Or uh, mouse wire. Mouse wire. We got the leak up in the ceiling. We got to worry about. Couldn't shake me on my roots. Best foot forward, like we dancing with a groove. We gonna stay grinding till we all make a move. Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gonna give it time, but never go away. Said it either black or white, but not gray. Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gonna give it time, but never go away. So we've made quite a bit of progress. We have the wall ripped out on this far side to see where the mice are coming in. And it's basically just one hole way out there in the corner. I'll show you the outside of the house in just a second. But up here, we can see where the water's coming in. So we have the, for the chimney, there's like four inches above that metal box where the water's coming in. And then it's running down that left joist all the way down. And that's where you saw the big water mark over the drywall right here. So pulling off the drywall was difficult because we didn't know what direction they were going to run. Uh, but patching it should be relatively easy once we get a joist or a stud in a straight line. And then we can just put the drywall into place. So now we'll assess the damages and uh, see what we want to do with it. I said we out here ground we working. I said we out here ground we working. So the reason we're wearing these masks is because of, one, the mouse poop, but two, this fiberglass insulation right here, this pink stuff, isn't good to breathe in. And there's also a bunch of mold and stuff from the water damage in the other room, so we're making sure we're not breathing in any harmful chemicals. You want to wear gloves as well because the pink stuff, the fiberglass, can get into your skin and it's really irritating. So we've cleaned out the drywall and the insulation from behind the shower and it looks like the biggest mouse problem was right here in the concrete. So when my grandpa built this, from day one they decided to add another drain to it and so this drain, this hole in the floor has been here since day number one. And you can see out in that far corner there's even daylight coming through that hole. So the mice have had an open passageway this whole time. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to clean out all the dirt from right here, level it out, and then stick new concrete and fill this hole up. Only we ain't never lose, cause the only thing we ever share be the truth. We gon' feed the fire till it's burning down the roof. Focus on your heart, cause the fields be the proof. Yeah, cause my soul lighting up like a fuse. Always down to share, never that's our food. Shoulder to the wheel like a NASCAR crew. Head in the world, baby, that's our school. Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gon' give it time, but never go away. So this part, basically I'm just smoothing it out and then shaking a little bit to get it all up inside of the cracks and to get the bigger rocks down to the bottom. And that'll give us a smooth surface on top when we finally get this other layer on top of it, get the second bag on. I said we are to the cement part of it and so over here in the corner we can see a little hole where the mice have been coming in so lucky for us we're gonna put some steel wool around the outside some wire grate but mice don't like to eat steel wool for obvious reasons it's uh, made of metal 
So we're going to put some silicone caulk all around the inside and then stuff it with steel wool and then put some steel wool around the outside wood as well. So the steel wool from the outside is going to do most of the protecting, but the steel wool on the inside is going to ensure that nothing else comes through this hole. And we'll staple it down as well to make sure that no Hercules mice can slip through. Alright, so we have the steel wool in there and a bunch of silicone caulk that's kind of holding it in place. So here on the edge of the house, we can see a little bit of a hole right here. And then on the inside, that goes into the cabin. So we need to put a bunch of steel wool and stuff in here and caulk that up. So this is the inside of the hole we just previously looked at from the outside. So I'm going to fill that up with steel wool and silicone caulk and hope for the best. Alright, now we got the whole crack full with steel wool. Silicone caulk down in there and I can spread it around and put it all over the steel wool. The nice thing about silicone is that it helps it, once it's all dried, it'll help it stay in place. And it's not very tasty, so the mice won't eat it. But these are the same mice who eat fiberglass insulation, so they might like it, I don't even know. So here's our precarious ladder situation going up to the roof. Once I get up there, we'll take a look and analyze and see where the water is coming in through the chimney. Okay, so I'm up here now. We can see that people have tried to fix this already, but it looks like they use some inferior caulk. So when this gets really hot in the summer, it shrivels up. So you can see right around here, this nail, all the caulk is shriveled up. It's not, it's not waterproof anymore. We got this section, so all the caulk right here is shriveled up, and it's just not working at all anymore. So I'm hoping that's the issue. I'm going to pull off all of this dead stuff, and then we'll put some new high temperature rated caulk on top of it. But I'm hoping that this sealer, the ultimate sealer, is going to hold a little bit better. It's rated at 300 degrees, and that should be enough temperature wise. I don't think this roof will get much hotter than that. So now I'm just going to smooth it out and make sure that these joints right here, because when the water runs down, these channels, it's going to go right there underneath and then down the chimney. So as long as I've done this excessively, we shouldn't have any issues. And I'll make sure to keep these channels pretty deep. That is some thick stuff. Alright, so we have a ridiculous amount of caulk on there right now. Hopefully that'll keep it watertight. It's not a professional job, but we're just here to uh, jerry-rig the thing. That should keep all the snow and water out of there. So I just moved this wood box away from this wall over here, and there's a whole dead bird right up against the wall. Just kind of like, just disintegrating itself. Pretty feathers though. We should probably use this cabin more often. I remember when I was a little kid working with my grandpa to make this ladder. We would cut out the holes right here. And I had no idea what he was making at the time because it just didn't make sense to me when it was laying on the ground. But then when we came and installed it here for the loft, it turned out pretty well. I say we are This one, the mice crawl up the little wooden plank, and then on this soda can, there are two little X's that you put peanut butter on, and so the mice will jump onto the peanut butter, and the can will spin, and they will fall in and die. You can put water in the bottom so that they'll drown, or you can just leave them in there, and they'll be caught. drywall right now this is one of the test walls we cut to make sure there's no mice living in this wall and this side of the house is pretty fine so I went through and I measured this I cut out to this other stud too so there's two points of attachment on either side and then here is the piece of drywall so drywall has like a little bit of a taper on one end so it's like a slightly thicker here and then a little bit less thick here and you want to use this taper whenever possible because it makes the mudding easier which you'll see in just a second Cutting drywall is actually extremely easy, so I have this knife right here that I'm going to do with the short side, and that just cuts through very easily all the way through. It's very serrated. 
And on this long side, I'm going to use my razor blade to score the paper all along this bottom edge and then just snap it off and it'll cut cleanly. You want to score the side that's going to be facing the room because the back side, this brown paper, is going to tear a little bit. So let's give it a shot and then we'll just pop the puzzle piece into the hole that we cut and we'll go from there. One thing my grandpa taught me is to use the whole length of the saw blade so when you're cutting through it, let the saw do the work instead of you do the work. Tools. That's what they're made for. So since this hole was cut kind of squampus in the first place and we're doing a patch job, um, I just scored it one more time to cut it to length. And you can just, since it's scored, the paper will just break off without actually damaging the part that's going to be visible. Because if you have a bunch of frayed paper, it's going to be a lot harder to put the mud on and paint later. So now we have the unfinished, unpainted drywall in place. Little gaps like this aren't a big deal. And I'll show you why in just a second as we mud it, because that's going to be all covered up. When you're doing this, try to hit as many studs as possible. So there's a stud here and a stud here, and so this is going to be pretty solid. So if this was a new house, we'd be using the normal drywall tape that just sits over the top of this and is a lot smoother. But since this is a patch job, we're using this kind of drywall tape. Basically, it sits over the crack and lets the drywall mud seep through into the crack, filling the hole and then making it smoother overall. This holds the mud in place a little bit better. All right, so the first coat of mud is on. Right now, it's mostly just filling in all the gaps and the uneven ledge between the one piece and the other piece. And so you can still see the tape a little bit, but when I go back through and sand these ridges and then put one more coat of mud over the top of it, it'll hide the tape completely and then we'll be able to blend it more when we paint the whole wall. So we'll let this dry. You can see this part right here is drying and when it all turns white, we're ready to sand it and then put on that second coat. And see, here's a furry little mouse friend that we have making his little bed up here in the insulation. Get rid of his body. So one of the entry points for the mice is right in between the foundation layer and then the wood right on top of it. There's a little bit of a gap there. So what we've taken is we have some wire grate that has one fourth inch holes in it that mice can't fit through. And we've taken some adhesive and adhesived it to the cement and then we've stapled it into the wood. So now that gap is off limits to the mice. So we're three days into it and we think that we have everything figured out and solidified and we come around to the back of the house as we're wrapping that metal grate around it and this is what we find. So we have the side of the house over there and we have the highway of mice going inside of the house. So it looks like... They have a nest right there. And it looks like it goes farther over there as well. Mm -hmm. Dang. Have to cut out that, um... So what we realized is that this whole cabin has been made out of reclaimed wood. So when my grandpa put this plywood in, it already had a hole nibbled out by mice. And then the mice here at this cabin made it bigger. So he knew that hole was there, so he stuck this piece of wood to block it, but the mice just went around it. Same thing with this board down here. So, that's where we're at. Instead of ripping out all the interior walls to pull to find the nest and pull out the insulation We're just going to cut a foot out from the bottom of these pieces of plywood Because these are the pre mouse nibbled pieces of plywood that my grandpa put down 
and then we'll take a new piece of plywood, put it in its place, put the mesh over the top of it, and that should be good after we've cleaned it all out from the outside. So right now I'm going to cut a piece of insulation for this hole right here. It's about a foot and nine inches. The trick with insulation is that it has to be fully expanded to do the insulating. So you have to get the right dimensions for it. So this is a six inch stud right here. And when you install it, you have to make sure that it's all fluffed out. And when you cut it, if you step on it and make it flat, you can cut it pretty easily all the way through the insulation at one time. And the R21 gives it its insulation value, how well it is at retaining heat. So now I'm gonna cut it and we will install it. I say we are here ground and we working. I say we are here ground and we working. I say we are here ground and we working. I say we are here ground and we working. Tell me how to do it and I do Feeling my ambition like I'm filling up a pool Ain't my choice but it's up to me to choose Hammer out my goals like I'm working with my tools On the same page like the headline news Even Jimmy Fallon couldn't shake me out my roots Best foot forward like we dancing with a groove We gon' stay grinding till we all make a move Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gon' give it time but never go away Said it either black or white but not gray Are you gonna find a baby my way? We gonna grind or all we gonna play We gon' give it time but never go away Said it either black or white but not gray I said we out here grind and we workin' I said we out here grind and we workin' carpets that we have up in the loft has just like a bunch of little games on it so you have like Chinese checkers you have regular checkers you have hopscotch you have all kinds of games tic-tac-toe and this is just up there it's for all the kids to play with all the grandkids right now it's out here in the Sun hopefully the Sun will kill all of the bacteria and stuff on it and we can keep using it so I'm doing all the taping behind the stove all the tape is up now I'm gonna start the mudding process and over here, my uncle has this all taped off and drywalled. This is from the hole on the other side that we discovered underneath the plywood on the exterior. Then down this room, this is where I have that first wall mudded off. So it's just one layer right now. We still gotta sand it down and refinish it, make it a little bit more seamless. And in here is the bathroom where we did the cement, plugged up that hole, and this hole, this has a bunch of caulk and steel wool in it, and that should keep anything from coming up. And that is our view. This is an old 36 caliber Savinger. It was likely used in the Civil War, and it was found in a privy behind a bar. So it's day number three, pretty good day. We finished a lot of the drywall and the plugging of the house. We sealed the bottom of it with that steel mesh. The worst part of the day was when we found the big holes in the back, but it turned out not to be as big of a deal as we thought it was. Yeah, we still had to seal them, but the holes were already there from the wood that my grandpa brought back from his car wash. So he reclaimed the wood and reused it. So the holes were already there, the mice just made them a little bit bigger, but they didn't like explore into the house. They just used that area in between the, in the, in between the walls. So it wasn't too bad. We took out the plywood, put the new plywood in, and then put a lot of the wire mesh over the top of that. So we're pretty confident that they're not going to get in. 
hopefully we only have one more day of this. Um, all we have to do is finish the second coat of mud, kind of expand it out so the seams aren't as noticeable. And then we'll paint it probably in the spring once we verify and make sure that there's no mouse problems anymore. So, cross all your fingers. We could only win, never lose. Cause the only thing we ever share be the truth. We gon' feed the fire till it's burning down the roof. Focus on your heart cause the feels be the proof. So it's day four, we finally have all the carpet out of all the rooms. And we are doing the finishing touches on the drywall. So this is some drywall that I just finished. You see how the second coat is a lot wider than the first coat. So the first coat's mostly just to fill it up and then you sand it all down and then you do a wider coat. So there's still like a little ridge right here, if you can see it, but we'll sand that down before we do the final painting. Drywall mud is really easy to sand. Before we put everything back together, we're gonna make sure that the mice are completely sealed out. So we're gonna leave everything for the fall and the winter because that's usually when the mice come in. And then next spring, if there's only like one or two mice, we'll paint everything and make it all like a nice little cabin again. But if there's 100 mice or 200 mice, then uh, we will assess other options. My cousin's mowing the lawn. He's gonna be out there a while. So we're pretty much done with the cabin. This is the middle of day four. So we pretty much worked four days on it. Day three, we had some family members come out and help out with the uh, construction process and that helped out a ton. Couldn't have done it without them. But I think Jerry would be proud of what we've done. You know, a couple things are Jerry rigged, but that's how he would like it. So we'll wait around until next spring and see how bad the mouse problem is then. Hopefully only one or two get inside. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we can't expect the impossible. Thanks so much for joining us with this project. It's a little bit different than what we normally do on this channel, but I had a lot of fun, and I think Jerry would be proud of what we've accomplished. Hope to see you around. I said we out here grinding, we working. I said we out here grinding, we working. Uh, tell me how to do it and I do Feeling my ambition like I'm filling up a pool